Hello everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brittany and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Panama City Beach, Florida and what to do and where to stay. So we stayed at Edgewater Beach Resort which is an amazing resort. I'm going to show you guys all the details on that and then also activities. So if you're only interested in activities or if you're only interested in the resort, I just wanted to jump on here real quick before the video gets started and let you guys know that I'm going to label and timestamp everything I talk about below so you can just jump to what you want to see and it should come across that little scrolly bar there too so yeah this was my fifth time to Panama I am pregnant so it was a little bit more R&R &R than it's been when I've been there when I'm 21 years old but yeah I haven't really announced I'm pregnant on here but if you want to see more of my personal life head to my Instagram Brit's Good Getaways and otherwise enjoy I hope this helps you with some tips and things to do in Panama Okay, so first I wanna give you guys a little room tour. Now this is a two bedroom, two bath with an additional bunk bed and a pullout couch condo. They also have one bedrooms and three bedrooms with three bathrooms. So something to remember is you're typically booking through the owner of the actual condo so they're not all furnished or decorated the same. We've booked through Verbo for this. So now this bedroom has a bathroom that comes right off into the room and then you can also get there through the hallway here. And then in that hallway, they have laundry, which is very nice. And they had so many sand toys in this particular condo. So here are the bunk beds. They were actually pretty comfortable. The bottom one is a queen and the top is a twin. And there was storage for underneath. The kitchen had full size appliances and an amazing view. This condo's oceanfront, but they also have golf views across the street that run cheaper, but you can still use the amenities of the hotel. So I'll give you guys a tour on that later. So this was straight on ocean view. I love it. You're not looking sideways at it. It's just so pretty. If you've never seen Panama City Beach, these beaches, I highly recommend it. There's way more pools here, I think nine total. So that night we checked out the pool that was in our tower and the next day we woke up and we went to the huge lagoon pool. So these are two smaller towers and then there's three big towers. So this is where we are on the beach in that last clip. Tower two here is where our condo is and you can see the pool area and the jacuzzi below. And then tower three is pretty much identical, but they do have a pizza place. And then tower one is where they have the huge pool, splash pad, gift shop, hair salon, arcade. Oceans here is where we ate twice because it was so good. I'll be showing that food in a bit. Across the bridge here is how you get to the golf view condos. There's an actual golf course, tons of villas of different sizes, tennis courts, pickleball, shuffleboard, so lots to do. Besides the huge lagoon pool, there's also 10 other smaller pools. So what I loved about this resort is they had something to do each night. So this night they had a beach bonfire and there were s'mores, which my pregnant self was very happy about. Can I just use this? Oh, yeah. Make the fire. Be sure to download the app Vamos because it gives you all the activities. All right, we're crab hunting. <laughs> crab hunting. <laughs> oh, crabs. There's a shoe to them too. 
I love that the pools are open late and everything's lit up. That was probably one of my favorite things because I love swimming at nighttime. So the next morning there was a storm that was beautiful to watch. It didn't last long as you can see. And then after that we ate at Ocean's Grill. So the shark cup my daughter had to have was $20 and then $10 for a refill. And Oceans had indoor and outdoor seating. So yeah, there was something different going on every night. And tonight is movie night in the pool. And they were showing the movie The Incredibles. One thing we love to do in Panama is rent a pontoon boat. So we got it from Adventures at Sea. You do have to have somebody who actually knows how to operate the boat. So thank you to my brother Eric for that. A full day rental was $249 and a half day was $169. So some of the more popular spots to go to is Shell Island or St. Andrews State Park. We love the snorkeling in this area. It's very shallow, like a ways out so the kids can enjoy it too. You get to see lots of little critters and fish and yeah, it's just a great time all around. Can you tie it in there? I love the beach. It's a queen, guys. I want to go there. Can you get me a water bucket, Mom? Yes, I will. Mom, stay! So this is the beautiful Shell Island. You park your boat on one side and you walk to paradise on the other. It truly feels like your own private island. Beautiful. Look at this side. on a pontoon or a boat. The sea screamer is a great activity if you want to see dolphins or if you're on a pontoon boat, you could just follow the sea screamer to see dolphins. And then back at the hotel that night, there was karaoke by the pool. So Pier Park is Panama's main shopping and entertainment location. Of course they have a pier across the road that looks over the ocean and then there's hundreds of stores, food options, movie theater, laser tag, and live music. So Tootsie's is one of the most popular spots. Before kids, this is where we would go for drinks and to listen to the live music. It got pretty rowdy at night, super fun. But now we're just getting ice cream for a little babe. And every time we're here, we always make a stop at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> we 
took a ride on the very big sky wheel, which is a great way to see the area and all the things to do. It was $18.99 and under the age of four is free. And they do have a package deal where you can combine the sky wheel, ropes course, and putt putt for $35.99. So we are at Sharky's. This is a very popular restaurant on the beach with live music. They have indoor and outdoor seating. Let's see what they got. <laughs> and the coolest part is the kids meal included a frisbee like I've said, we've been here many times, so I wanted to recommend some places we didn't go on this particular trip. And one of those places is Pineapple Willie's. This is another beachfront restaurant with live music. We've stayed at Long Beach Resort and Shores of Panama, and these resorts are very nice. They just didn't have as much pool entertainment as Edgewater did. It's very close to the Strip, though, and they have lots of shops, racetracks, Slingshot, and Ripley's. And so that is right next to that Pineapple Willie's. But Edgewater Beach is only a couple miles away. A restaurant I really wanted to go to but haven't had the chance is Barefoot on the Beach. They have a pool and splash pad where the kids can play while you eat and have a drink. So I wanted to go in a little more detail about the other part of the resort. So across this bridge here is where there's tons of golf villas. You can walk the bridge or you can drive over there. And being that they're not on the ocean, they are more affordable. They have the one to three bedroom villas still, and they're all spread out with their own little pools nooked in. They have tennis courts, pickleball, shuffleboard, actual golf, and a pro shop for running the equipment. And there's also a fitness center. So this is a better view of the main beach towers. You can see there's two smaller towers and then three large towers. And all of those are Edgewater Beach Resort. And there are golf carts if you need to ride across the bridge, but I will say you have to stop and ask. They did not just offer for everybody walking. <laughs> So it was a great trip. Panama City Beach is perfect for people who just want to go to party and meet people, but it's also great for families. It has an amazing beach if you just want to relax. Go. So yeah, we've definitely changed our route a bit on the things that we do in Panama, but we keep on coming back in the end. So now time for our car ride back home to Michigan. I'll catch you guys on the next getaway.